Our focus in 2023 should be on taking responsibility. Let me tell us a short story. Once upon a time, there lived several unique and large communities operating independently. As days goes by, their individual leaders in search of survivors began to discover resources, both natural and human, in regions outside theirs. As they gradually approach the interested communities to negotiate their interests, they peacefully align with some greedy leaders while forcefully aligning with those that are naive of what they possess. These have since then caused a lot of civil unrest. Some small communities were able to decipher their manipulation and begin self-development themselves to set an atmosphere that works for them, which also accommodates others outside their communities. This was the beginning of them living peacefully and stop depending on the bigger communities for survival. Meanwhile, they understand jealousy and ensure they build up tight security system through people and weapons. The secret to their success was taking responsibility to conscience. So please, fellow advocate, what do you think? You know, the last time we had our section and we talked about the U.S. African summit, mm -hmm. and you said something that the government, the president of Ghana, has given an working call to other fellow presidents and other countries, African nations. Um, imagine the American government. I'm not disputing the fact of the American mm -hmm. government. They have the right to believe or put out whatever idea they have to put out. They say they want to partner with Africa to help promote democratic values. But Russia and China will also want to partner with Africa. But they are, the American government is saying Russia and China are not interested in values in Africa. They just want to profit. But we, we don't just only want to profit. We also want to instill values. No poor idea. But guess what? The real people that, are in, that could instill values are we ourselves. We don't take responsibility. There is nothing wrong in reaching out or learning from these, these countries that are advanced. But let us always take the bull by the young. 2023 is coming. We are, we are yet to another crossroads again. We are going to make choices that will affect us in the last four to eight years. How prepared are we Nigerians for change? Okay. Michael, what do you think? So um, taking responsibility is um, something that no matter how we try to um, give excuses for our failures, our inability to create change, you find out that at the end of the day, nothing matters until we have to do what is right. Um, at individual level, you can blame everybody for all you like. Why the reason why you are not um, excelling the way you should? The why the reason why your business is not doing so well? The why the reason why people are not, um, you know, uh, giving you job opportunities and all of that? But at the end of the day, you as a person have to take responsibility for whatever you want to make happen um, as a country um, we we can quote um, different laws different theories how the colonial masters how the different constitution has kept us where we are but at the end of the day if the country is still producing oil if the country is still earning um, has foreign reserve we have what it takes the human capital everything to take our own um, resources to create the kind of country that we want to live in. It's not so much about what U.S. is offering to give us, what the uh, uh, what's it called, G5 or G20 is willing to give us. Is how much are we willing as a country to create the change that we want? Okay, thank you. So I, I would like to say something, right? Referring back to pre-independence, uh, you look at the likes of Sadauna of Kano. Right. Amadou Bello. I listened to one YouTube audio where he said they delayed participating in the independence process because they are scared of how the interests of the houses will be protected. Huh. Right? Now, they are taking responsibility to say whatever comes from this independence, their people interest must be favored. And they can they are taking that responsibility, taking that call to say they would get it right. The same thing goes to Aulawa. If you look at uh, uh, the Ipo uh, Biafra war, it's still Ojuku standing and saying, 
we have been marginalized. Mm -hmm. We want to take responsibility to call for what belongs to us. But today, it's far beyond that. That it's, it is a shame that it is individual interest. Corruption has eaten deep to the extent that people neglect that what is wrong is wrong. So far, you have the opportunity, or your person is in government, you feel, or your, somebody who is close to you is going into the government. You feel, if I support this person, I have the opportunity, mm, you know, to, to also benefit. So it's not about the good dividend of democracy. And the same thing you see at the aspect of uh, an Aousa man saying he's going for Atiku, a Yoruba man saying he's a Minokon, a Tinubu, a, a Southeast man saying he's Peter Obi. Do you understand? So we are actually not taking responsibility, knowing fully well that if we truly want this country to move, we have to start self-development, start taking responsibility of every of our actions. Because I have somebody who is my husband, or who is my brother, who is working at NASMA, doesn't mean that I should violate the traffic rule. Do you understand? What is bad is, is bad. bad. The same it's thing you talked about, the exactly. The same thing you talk about, the, um, uh, the, the security brutality, the other thing. Police brutality. You see people talking about once you are in police, you can oppress. It is, mm. you know, it is like we don't take responsibility of our actions. We hide. We look at where to hide. And I can tell you for free, if we're able to take responsibility and we agree, there is nothing. Like, it's poverty that uh, causes issue of fetish. Somebody is eating you with, doesn't want you to go, or stuff like that. When you see people who are taking responsibility, doing due diligence to their work and what have you, they don't even have time. They don't have time to say they want to go and fight Mr. Hay or Mr. B because they are also busy, they are occupied. You made mention of Pope resigning because on health. Here is in Nigeria where you see somebody who will know that he's healed and he will still be covering up. You will see somebody who, you can see it in a uh, Prime Minister in, uh, of United Kingdom, UK, yeah. stepping down because you feel, I have, I can't handle this thing. This is a responsible that is big beyond me. I can't handle it. I'm resigning. Even with month and stuff like that on the, on the throne, right? And in Nigeria, you see somebody, you say, this person is corrupt, they are still this, and you say, yes, I have still it. I will, they will still go to the court and they will still win. They are not going investigation. Discharge and acquitted, or you say plea bargain. Mm -hmm. You know, okay, I'm going to pay you this. Let this one go. It's, it's like we are not taking responsibility. So, fellow advocate, today I, I think we should be uh, moving towards the 2023 election. We should be focusing on taking responsibility. We have to agree either we want to move forward or we want to continue in this madness that we call leadership, politicking, and what have you. Because it's madness. We don't really know what we want. We are just talking about, and if we are moving individual, individual, it's like you cannot bring, come together. Take, take responsibility, take charge. Exactly. Do the so right thing. That's, that's and be thing. driven by the right values. Exactly. Michael Oguche is next after the break. Do stay with us.